the basis of our project became this question. The question of how can we foster a more engaged Vancouver? A community that takes responsibility, takes action, doesn't complain, and knows the names of our neighbours. So we chose Campfire as our project focus, inspired by last year's group who had a similar goal, to get a legal campfire here in the city of Vancouver. So we reflected on our own memories and experiences around a campfire, and we had a connection to the simple essence a campfire can bring. So I remembered a camping trip I had in Tofino with two friends. We had been there for two days, but we still hadn't met anyone from our campsite. We were outgoing, but we knew simply walking into someone else's campsite and saying, hello, can we join you for dinner, wouldn't really be socially acceptable. <laughs> so instead, we hatched a plan to meet our neighbors. We went down to the public area of the campsite on the beach and put up a cardboard sign at 7 p.m. that said, bring wood and friends. By 9 p.m., we had more than half the campsite sitting around us, sharing food and campfire stories. And then for the rest of our camping trip, we stayed at a community of people we knew, sharing catch-up and making beach plans. So this fantastic example showed us that one, campfires definitely can bring people together, and two, it reinforced that this is definitely the project we wanted to work on. And so we set out to talk to city staff to get this project on the ground. And the response from literally every staff we talked to was the same. Guys, awesome idea, I love it. I'd love to have a campfire on a beach near my house, but in Vancouver, it's probably not gonna happen. So, being the stubborn students that we are, we asked why. Why can't we do this? Why can other large cities such as Calgary, Toronto, Edmonton, Seattle, California, and most large European cities all have legal campfires, but why not Vancouver? So, through meetings, dialogues, we as a group learned that the city of Vancouver is risk adverse compared to other large cities. For example, when I called, <laughs> when I called the city of Calgary, which by the way has 150 campfire pits in public parks for anyone to enjoy, I asked, so if someone were to get hurt, and they want to sue the city. What are the steps for risk and regulations? And the lady on the phone from the city said, well, it's simple, it's city property. It's the same as driving a car down a city street. It's the same as tripping on a curb on city property. It's city property, you use it at your own risk, and people are okay with that. So we were left with, why does Vancouver have a culture of entitlement and blame versus a culture of ownership, responsibility, and engagement? So through quite a bit of research, we learned that Vancouver has actually an established engagement city task force to tackle this problem. It indicates that people are retreating from community life. People vote less, they join in less, they volunteer less, and they give less. So, Fraying of community leads to indifference, a corrosion of caring, compassion, a retreat from the very things that make our community here in Vancouver a better place to live. Through this process of our city studio dialogues, contact with the other major cities, through a lot of personal reflection, we've come to the conclusion, in order to be a more engaged citizen here in Vancouver, we need to feel some sense of ownership we need to feel responsible within our community. For this to happen, we learned that we need to have more opportunity to do this. Okay, so to explain this, I'm gonna use a Lego example. <laughs> so imagine on one hand, I give you a pre-built Lego spaceship. It's perfect, it's been crazy glued together, but you're not really allowed to touch it. On the other hand, I give you the Lego set and you get to build it yourself. So which one are you gonna be more invested in? If it breaks, which one are you more willing to fix yourself? If I take it away, which one are you more willing to protect? And which one are you more willing to share and show off with your friends and family? I want to build it! Yeah. Yeah. So of course, you're going to be more engaged in products that you have ownership over. But thinking back to creating a more engaged Vancouver, 
how do we give people the opportunity to make the communities their own without chaos? We can't have people painting polka dots on their neighbors' houses. We can't have people painting, planting gardens in the middle of soccer fields. And we definitely can't have people lighting campfires in the middle of Stanley Park. But is there a way we can have both? Is there a way that we can provide room for people to have opportunity for ownership and responsibility, but in a contained way? And then we realized that our campfires actually do exactly that. They're a great example of this sort of beautiful framework that cities can use. They provide a way for Vancouverites to light their own fires, bring their own wood, and create their own shared space, engaging with friends and family, but in a safe and contained way on a designated area. And then we realize that we've actually seen this framework before. For example, Vancouver's existing Green Streets program and Portland Street Mural program. The Green Street program gives people the opportunity to plan anything they want within a designated area of public space. For example, um, a roundabout or a street boulevard. And Portland Street Mural Program allows a neighborhood to paint their own mural with as many polka dots as they like, but within a contained section of a predetermined area of the street. So all three programs are all in the same sense of ownership, responsibility, and engagement, but without burning down the city. So the basis of our project became this question. The question of how can we foster a more engaged Vancouver? A community that takes responsibility, takes action, doesn't complain, and knows the names of our neighbors. So by creating the space and opportunity for Vancouverites to invest in their own initiatives in the city, such as hosting a campfire, <laughs> citizens develop a real sense of ownership in our communities and become more engaged. So with projects like Aziz that we just mentioned, we can transform the way people think in Vancouver from what should the city do for me to what can I do for my city. Thank you. Thank you.